right, we're here at Trick Supply, and uh, it looks like a mail office or something like that, but there's more. You see this little logo over here. Looks like they do FedEx shipping. Got the whole works. Magic shop. Ah, a bunny rabbit. Got the airport over there. And who is that guy? We know him from somewhere, the Magic Club. Yes, you do. Good to see you. So how did you end up here, Austin? Ooh, how did I end up here? Well, I had a buddy who knew a guy who knew another guy who knew another guy, and they recommended me, and uh, now I'm here. It sounds like a, a beautiful process. I know, right? Man, there's a lot of stuff here. There is. Oh, my there? God. That's hard to believe. I wasn't kidding when we when I said we have stuff uh, from beginner, you know, all the way to expert. So. Wow! And look at all these gags. Yeah, we got a lot of the gags. It's like right up your alley too. It's, uh... That's awesome. So, what's your, some of your favorites in here? What do you like? What do I like? I'll show you what I like. This is a thing that I found. Very good, very good. This is a thing that I found recently that I really like. Some coasters. And a $20 bill. Huh. Is that real? Is that real? Doesn't matter. <laughs> we got here three coasters. We got a soda coaster, we got a coffee coaster, and we got a juice coaster. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to make a decision. And uh, if I cannot predict what your decision is going to be, that's a $20, a big 20, just for you and you alone. Okay. That sounds too good to be true. It does sound too good to be true. We'll see. Anyway, like I said, we got soda, we got coffee, and we got juice. So the question is, which one do you want? I want the coffee. You want the coffee? I'm sorry. No 20 for you. See, the thing is, I, uh, I knew you would pick the coffee. Huh. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, obviously it just has, like, the same thing on... You it know, has to be. ...on the others, but no, these are... What the heck? Like. That's impossible. <laughs> But uh, hey, maybe come again next week. We'll give it another. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. So, Austin, where's this guy Wolfgang that you said owns this place? That guy right over there. The guy with the He's accent here? as German as his name. This guy right here? This is Wolfgang. So, so Wolfgang, what got you? How many years have you been in town? Oh, well, it's a little bit over 20 years now. 20 so years? I'm almost a local for Waco standards. That's funny. And how long has this beautiful magic shop been here? Well, the magic shop itself is here since uh, 2019, but uh, Trick Supply as a business has been here for many, many years. Wow. And uh, did you ever go to the Gary Darwin Magic Club? Of course. Gary was the guy, the fabric of magic. He kept it all together. Um, that... He was a good friend and I miss him. That's really cool. And do you have any favorite quick trick you do for everybody? Something um, fast? Not right now. All right, that's okay. And what is this whole map? Why is that there? Oh, it's just there because we are a mailing and shipping store, and uh, you know every mailing and shipping store has a big map of the world hanging there. That's great. Mine just happens to be more colorful than others, but for our specific reason, really. Wow! And this is a this is a authorized FedEx store. FedEx, post office, we rent mailboxes, do notaries, you know, if you guys need a Las Vegas shipping address, come get a mailbox and we can help you out there. That's great. And what are all these post, these little boxes over here? What is that? Those are the mailboxes that people can rent to have an address in Las Vegas. That's great. A lot of magicians, uh, because Vegas is the capital of the world when it comes to shows and magic, so a lot of magicians like to have their address in Las Vegas, even so they live somewhere else. That's awesome. I love it. And what was the inspiration behind starting this whole this whole business here? Well, I've always been into magic, but when the opportunity came to buy this mail, mailing and shipping store, I said, hey, I can have my magic and 
it made the shipping store pays the rent for the whole thing so it all jives together i get better shipping rates through the mailing business so it was like a very good combination that's great thanks for giving austin a chance to uh share his fruits with the community yeah, he's getting better every day. Yeah, I would hope so. So what's your uh, six-year goal? What do you want to do in six years? My six-year goal? Um, I can still be alive, obviously. That's a good thing. Um, I, I'd love to be established, you know. I'd love to eventually get to the point where, you know, people, you know, if they're looking for a magic shop, they can think, hey, go to that Austin, go to Austin's magic shop. Oh yeah. It's like, oh yeah, that magic shop? Yeah, yeah, no, the one that's uh the one that Austin works at. That's what I'd like. That's great. So, it's beautiful. It is. Well, you got a goal, you got something to uh work towards. That's all that counts. All right, the master himself has come out to show all. What do we have? Where's the mouse? This might end in the house. Well, I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to show you a little uh, card trick. I have two sevens here. All right. Um, Austin, if you want to assist me here for a I second. I would love to. Hold out your hand. Oh, I was going to look for the clean one, but today we use this one, no problem. So we put one seven down here, and we take the second seven and put it on top. Now, Austin, with your other hand, squeeze real hard. Did you feel this? Kind of. No, you're better than most. Take your hand off, lift the uh, top card up. You pushed so hard that the pips from this card actually disappeared. And if we turn this one around, <laughs> wow. you press so hard, they're now here. That's a really good quick trick. I love it. Thank you, guys. And come see us at Trick Supply. So, Austin, is there anything else you want to show? Yes, I will show you one more thing. Ah. I'm going to actually let you in on a little industry secret. All right. You know. Let's see. Uh, but we'll just keep it between you and I for now. Sounds good. Now the question I'm is, not going to tell no one. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. The question is, how do magicians get paid? And the answer is, just like everyone else, you know, we get, we, we get a paycheck. Huh. Now, the, how magicians cash their checks, hmm. that's where things become interesting. Because here, check this out really closely. All we have to do is snap our fingers and we can cat um sorry, we uh cashed it in uh British pounds. Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, let's try that. From Britain. Uh oh, sorry. Now we have Euros. Um sorry. I think the flare is everything here. Yeah, we got the Euros. There we go. We got the we got the dollars. Is that real money? Does it matter? <laughs> so yeah, that's a little industry secret of ours. And uh, yeah, hope it uh, gives you an insight into how the magic shop business works. Hey, hope you loved the video. If you did, definitely slap that thumbs up button. Slap it like slapping a you know what. And uh, that helps out the channel. And uh, hey, we really appreciate everyone that leaves a comment. That's uh, how you get in the giveaway. We do a giveaway every last Saturday of the month, and that's to give back to the community, share all kinds of really cool magic props, and we buy magic from everyone in the community. So if you have something that you think uh, we should be sharing, give me a buzz, call me. My phone number is 702-472-3614. That's Eben, or in French, Eben, or in Brazil. I don't know, I've never been there yet, but hey, if you love it, definitely share it. Share it with someone, leave a comment. We randomly go down and select people for the giveaway. And uh, hey, check out some more Vegas action here. And uh, subscribe to the channel right here. And we will see you back next time right here on Las Vegas Magic Friends.